무엇이든지 원하는 대로 구하라 이 제목으로 은혜를 나누겠습니다. 예수님께서는 Today I like to share the grace of God under the title Ask Whatever You Wish. Jesus said, Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. We can go before God and pray because of our relationship with Him. God is our Father and we are His loving children. So we can ask for everything that we need. Father grants the request of his children. Dr. A. W. Tozer said, A general mistake committed by Christians is that they become lazy to pray because they are busy. In fact, many people say that they do not pray because they are too busy. These people do not know the power of prayer. They think, Praying is an obligation, so they do not pray. If they know that prayer is an amazing privilege given by God's children, they pray even if they are busy. If you pray, God helps His children. George Mueller took care of 2,000 orphans by praying to God. He said if you expect great things from God, you get to experience great things. If we pray by believing that God will work amazing things, we get to have dreams in our hearts and our prayer time is filled with happiness. Jesus promised, if you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. We must hold on to this promise word and pray by believing that our prayers will be answered. When facing problems, people always seek for better solutions. However, God looks for those who pray. If we do not pray, we have to work. But if we pray, God works. Charles Spurgeon said prayer is a golden key. We have to have a key. in order to open doors, right? If we do not pray, we don't use the key, so there's no way for us to enjoy what God has prepared for us. E.M. Bounds said that prayer is the key that opens God's grace storage. Prayer is the best way to solve problems. God has given us the key called prayer, so we must use that key. God has given us keys of prayer you must use this key if you do not use those uh, you shouldn't use those keys given you should use those keys given by God and pray
John 6.56 says, Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. If we listen to Jesus' word and keep his word, we remain in Jesus and we get to have deep relationship with Jesus. Jesus gives forgiveness of sins, holiness, healing, He also fulfills things that we lack. And Jesus also gives life to the dead. And Jesus gives the fivefold gospel. He who did not spare his own son but gave him up for us all, how will he not also along with him graciously give us all things? God loves each one of us and He wants to give us life. However, as it is written, no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind has conceived what God has prepared for those who love Him. And God gives things that we need through Jesus Christ. Therefore, we must believe in Jesus and accept Jesus' word. And if we invite the word of Jesus into our hearts, those words work in us. The Israelites were slaves in Egypt. They followed Moses coming out of Egypt and went into the desert of Shur. They walked in the desert for four days, but they couldn't find water, so they faced sufferings. Finally, they discovered water. The water was so bitter that they couldn't drink it. And at that time, God pointed out a branch, and when that branch was thrown into the water, the water became... Sweet, the bitter water became sweet. That branch symbolizes Jesus' cross. When we have problems, God also has solutions to our problems. The Israelites rebelled against Moses and God sent a s snake in the desert and the people who were bitten by the snake died. So they shouted asking to forgive of their, their sins.
Moses caught a snake and made a bronze snake and put it up on a pole people who looked at the snake survived but those who did not believe that they will be healed did not survive When Jesus was hung on the cross, there were two criminals on his sides. These people committed all kinds of sins because of poisons of the devil and they were hung on the cross on Jesus' side. Can those who are poisoned be saved? One of the criminals on Jesus' side said, When your heaven comes, remember me. Those words saved him, and Jesus said, You will be with me in paradise. Even if we are abandoned, if we look to the cross, and ask for help. We will be saved. As we live in this world, we live in the tent of flesh. And if the tent of flesh collapses, what happens? God will allow us to enter into heaven and live there. Remember that God has prepared our eternal house. Even if our flesh of tent collapses, we will not we who believe in Jesus will not be abandoned. What is the obstacle, obstacle of prayer? The obstacle of prayer is doubt. James 1, 6-7 say, But when he asks, he must believe and not doubt, because he who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. So what do we need to do when doubt comes? In Greek, doubt means to understand and try to figure things out with human reason.
We always try to understand and figure things out by saying, is this possible? Then we say, oh, it can't be done. It's not possible. That is doubt. You can't doubt like that. When we look at things, we should look at things by the teaching of the Holy Spirit. If we don't, we will fail. Those who doubt cannot receive anything from God. There is a good way to drive out doubts when they come into our hearts. It is to make mouth confession and praise God. After I pray to God, I sit down quietly and tell myself, Yongi, God is with you. You know that, right? I tell myself that. And after I say that, I also say, Yongi, Jesus Christ died for you by being torn apart and shedding blood. Therefore, He values you. You know that, right? Yongi, do not fall in despair. We can drive out doubts with our spoken words. Those who pray that good things will come, they must say, good things will come because I just prayed about that. And you must also say, God is with you, good things will come to pass. Miracles come and blessings come when we bless ourselves. If we speak words of encouragement and blessings to others, those words become great blessings to them. Spoken words are tools that can drive out doubts. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, and ask whatever you wish and it will be given to you. If we ask for things that we dream of, Matthew 7, 7 says, Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find and knock and the door will be opened to you. Until now, you have not asked for anything in my name. And ask you will receive and your joy will be complete. If we ask for things to God by praying, we will receive things from God. If any of you lacks wisdom, He, God who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to Him.
we must ask for small, little, small things and big things to God. When doubts come into our hearts when we pray, we must drive out doubts. We must say, God heard my prayer and things will come to pass. The things that I asked for will come to pass. Doubts, leave. And you must fight with your spoken word. You must fight doubts with spoken words. When we encounter problems, we should not look to our problems, but look to the cross. Peter was crossing the sea with other disciples, and Jesus walked on the water then. Disciples were surprised to see him, and Jesus uh, his. Jesus' disciples thought that they were seeing a ghost, and Jesus told them not to be afraid. And Peter said, If it is you, Jesus, tell me to come. So Peter started walking on the water, and at that time the wind started to blow. Peter then looked at the wind instead of looking at Jesus, and he drowned. We should not look to our circumstances when the wind blows and when we look to the winds and the waves, doubts come. When we look, we must look to Jesus and the promised word of Jesus. Just as athletes who compete at the Olympics are trained to only look at their goals, we must be trained continuously to only look at Jesus' cross. When we look at things through the law of looking, God will bring the creative works. Hudson Taylor had a dream of preaching the gospel in China when he was 15 years old. He always dreamed of becoming a missionary and looked to it. He ate Chinese food, used chopsticks instead of a fork. He trained himself to sleep on the floor instead of a bed. When he became weak, he spent months lying in bed. During that time, he put up a big map of China on the wall and prayed by looking at it. When he prayed by looking to his dream, God worked amazingly. China was in Hudson Taylor's heart. He always dreamed of China. And he felt like China was in his heart. So Hudson prayed to God about China. We will be having Pyeongchang Olympics.
10 million Christians look to Olympics and pray, so we know that God will be with us at the Olympics. So no one will be able to easily disturb us. things come to pass when we look to it and the Holy Sp and the Holy Spirit works when we pray by looking to our dreams God brings amazing works Hudson Taylor got to spread the gospel in a region where the gospel was not preached. Delight yourself in the Lord and He will give you the desires of your heart. Look to your dreams and believe that those dreams will come to pass, then God will make things come to pass. And without faith, it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to Him must believe that He exists and that He rewards those who earnestly seek Him. God rewards those who earnestly seek Him. When we seek God and earnestly seek Him, He rewards us. Drawing dreams in our hearts makes our life different. One of the best ways to draw dreams in our hearts is to write down our dreams. Zig Ziglar who was famous for self-development, the science of, science of success, said if you do not write down your goals, you only have seeds that are not sowed. God told Abraham to look to stars in the sky. Likewise, we must use the law of looking. And we must use the law of looking to look to our dreams. When you look to your dreams, those dreams will come to pass. Pastors should also dream about having like 500 members or 1,000 members at their church. They must look to that kind of dream and preach sermons.
I've also done that. I once had three members at my church, and I dreamed about、um, having 300 members or 3,000 members sitting in front of me. You must have that kind of big dream and pray, then God will be pleased. You, we must look to our dreams and hopes. We must call things that are not as though they were. And if you're suffering from diseases, you should take a picture of yourself when you're healthy. You should put up a picture of yourself when you're healthy, and look to it. And every time you sit down, you must tell yourself. For example, Yonggi, you look nice. You are healthy. If you make mouth confession like that, God brings His works. This shows how important it is to have clear goals by writing them down. If we pray by having clear dreams and hopes, God will give you abundant fruits in your life. We can ask for anything from God because we are His children. So as long as we can pray, we should not be discouraged or fall in despair. No matter what kind of situations we face, we must move forward with faith by having dreams and hopes. Then our Father God will take care of His children, and He will also protect them. Therefore, furthermore, we should share the grace that we received from God through prayer with poor people. And we must acknowledge that God is with you. God, you are with me today, right? God, walk with me. Your spoken words have tremendous power. Our spoke, spoken words can become the power of God. Dear friend, I pray that you may enjoy good health and that all may go well with you, even as your soul is getting along well. Jesus' cross is the greatest gift from God. When we carry the cross and pray, the power of God comes.
and you have received forgiveness of sins by the power of Jesus. Diseases must be healed. Because Je Jesus took go away all of our diseases, diseases cannot stay with us. We should always think about this and speak in such a way. Even if death comes, we must speak of eternal life and heaven. If you speak of your dreams, God will make your dreams come to pass. Think about Abraham. Abraham became the father of many nations by speaking it. Because of the cold weather, I feel like I'm getting sick. So I told myself, cold cannot come to you. I tell myself this. So I found out that other people caught cold, but I didn't catch cold. Let us sing a hymn together. <laughs> 